Hi there, Skater D here, uh, once again, on a rando not adventure. Last week I kind of took a week off to go on vacation. Although I didn't actually go anywhere on vacation. And you might be wondering, how does one go on vacation when they're just basically a YouTuber? And that's a really good question, which I don't have an answer for. What I can tell you is that as a YouTuber, to go on vacation, what you do is you go skating like you normally would, but you just leave the camera at home. Because sometimes you just want to go skating, you don't want to shoot a video, you don't want to be on camera, you don't want to do editing, you don't want to think about stats or comments or followers or anything like that. You just want to enjoy yourself and, and ride your board. So that's what I did last week. It was nice and relaxing and I didn't have to answer to anyone, which was great. Not that I have to answer to anyone, but I mean, think about it. Why do I make these videos? I make them for you. In that vein, I've noticed that a lot of my videos have been getting downvoted lately, and I'm not sure why. So if you don't like the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you don't like, because in the end, I'm kind of making these videos for you, for whoever is watching right now. If you're into the randonautic stuff, what would you like to see me manifest next? If you're just into skating, do you just want more skate footage and just music without commentary or anything like that, let me know in the comments before you click the downvote button. Just let me know what you want. This week, my friend on Twitter, Frank, said he wanted to see something historical. And it's kind of difficult to gauge what exactly would be historical in that context. Because, I mean, we live in an area that is littered with history. It's, it's everywhere you go. Which is actually kind of sad when you think about it because so few people actually pay attention to history and they act like everything that they're seeing and witnessing is happening for the first time ever when the fact is it just happens over and over again uh, as they say Th those who don't pay attention to history are doomed to repeat it it could be the pandemic it could be you know labor disputes it could be police brutality it could be black lives matters we've been here before many times and we seem to forget the lessons that we learn every time we turn around or there's a new generation. Uh, again, no one really pays attention to history. They just act like it's completely novel and this is the first time that anything like this has happened. Anyway, to get back to the point of the video, let's go looking for something random. Let's see if we can find something historical. All right, well, you probably can't see it because of the glare, but I've got the tension set, I've got the map set, everything is set, and I'm ready to go. So let's go ahead and roll out and do this. I'm not at the point yet, still en route, but I saw this, thought maybe this had some historical value. Maybe Frank would be interested in seeing this. You never know. I never know what my viewers are into, but I thought this looked pretty cool given the context of we're looking for things that are historical. Thank <laughs> you. 
I thought this would make a little fun spot before somebody yells at me for being in the driveway or whatever. Renonautica wants to send me over there. It's on the other side of the highway where the river is. And that's quite a challenge because I don't know how I'm going to get over there with the traffic. I'm going to have to walk back and around and I don't know if I can do that. We'll see. <laughs> Same train tracks from last week. Here we go. Oh, this is steep. Okay. This is some crazy stuff, yo. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, I can't believe what I'm doing. Cutting through like pass through the woods. <clears throat> now I'm back on these train tracks, but I'm like way further down than I was last week. I hope somebody out there appreciates this. But here we go, back across. We're gonna go under what is basically Interstate 81 follow these train tracks. This is 
has been a pretty good adventure so far, right? I mean, just the stark contrast of going from peaceful, tranquil nature to busy roadways, dangerously cracked sidewalks, doing some actual sidewalk surfing. And we're still not even there. We're still not even at the point. All right, well, this is it. This is the spot. This is where it told me to go. And, uh, you know, I decided to take a little walk that way just to see the bridge and go look under there. And there's kind of a cool iron bridge off in the distance, but this is the spot. This is the very point where they told me to go on the map. There I am. And it's pretty interesting as far as, I mean, historical stuff goes. Like, yeah, you got this old track here, uh, that old bridge. I mean, it's an interstate. It's not like it's ancient history, but I guess it's historical. I think we saw some cool stuff on this journey. Uh, it was definitely a trip getting here. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, tell me what you didn't like about it and let me know so that I can try to do something different and make something a little more entertaining in the future. But that just about wraps it up. I'm gonna head over yonder to where the actual road should be, where I can skate instead of walking on this stuff because it's kind of a pain to walk on. All right, here's where things get really wild because remember my friend Frank? His Twitter avatar, it's a train. He's actually, a, he knows a lot about trains as a historian. And I think it's just, it's incredible that Brandon Annika put me in the right place at the right time to get a picture of the, this train. You know, so I, I mean, I feel like a lot of Brandon Annika is like about as, as mystical as, as using a Ouija board, but in this case, it seems like it actually did put me in the right place at the right time to manifest something for someone who I was thinking of. That's it's pretty incredible actually. I think it's cool. I guess that answers my question as to whether or not trains actually still use this rail. I think it's a pretty safe bet I'm not supposed to be back here. But, uh, you know, the engineer kind of looked right at me and it was like, oh well. <laughs> anyway, I'm Skater D and keep surfing that sidewalk. <laughs>